Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for following along. Uh, in the middle of my roller project, I do have another little project to come up to help me along. I use this engine hoist a lot to lift stuff here and around the garage, but I do find that these legs aren't wide enough, especially when I go to lift this. It's, uh, it's a, this is wider than the stand. So what I want to do is figure out what I can do to make this a little more versatile. Follow along, see what I come up with. Hey guys, the first thing we need to do is the first. We just didn't have a wrench. Well guys, it's a beautiful day, only zero degrees, what a better time to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching. bench, get these off on the bench. Okay, I had that base plate up here and the bench. My original thought and plan was I was just going to make an adapter and cut the legs off here and have an adapter which they would come off on a wider angle. But after some gentle encouragement from my wife, I think we have a different plan. So, I think I'm going to weld on a bracket here and come out wider this side and then uh, bring another bracket back in here to weld it together so it stays solid and do the same thing on this side and you'll actually then have two different positions you can put the legs in. Um, that way it com remains completely stock to use but when I do need wider legs, I'll just have two other brackets to be able to use. So, 
gonna take some measurements and see if we can't make up some brackets. Hmm. Let's go. So if we stay the same length as this. It looks like sixteen and a half. 16 three quarters actually would give us roughly length the same length as here. Yeah, so we'll cut two pieces 16 three quarters. I only have rectangle tubing right now, so we're gonna have to cut it and then cut the top off to make the bracket, but we'll get. Two pieces caught. You can see. Okay. I know some of you might be yelling at me because there's an angle to this. So it's 16 and 3 quarters to 17 and a quarter. Should give me my angle. So I'm going to cut the two sides first, then move it back into the vise. So, because I don't have anything out here supporting this side, at least that way the vise will hold both sides. Uh, so yeah, I'll get this cut done, we'll flip her over, make the other cut, and then we'll cut the, the top and bottom. Gonna bevel this edge off here so it matches the angle, but that should be easy enough. Okay, guys, this is where I got to so far on the welding project. I've cut this to length and split this tube. Hey guys, so this is what I've come up with so far. It's just a channel. I, you could get just square tubing that would slide over each other, but I just didn't have it. So the legs will actually slide in here. This is the side that takes the pressure on the up and then the down here, so that should work. This will weld on here. Like that. I'm not worried about drilling the holes or anything in this side because I'm not going to leave it. Uh, I don't need it to fold up on this one because I'll put it back in the originals to fold up. So I'll get this welded on here and I'll bring it back then and see what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like welded up. 
both sides. I'm going to take these little pieces now and we'll weld them in here. Just to give it some structure. Once I get it all welded together and tested out, I may need to get another set of wheels or move these wheels here over. Uh, so we'll see what the flex is like when we actually put some weight on it. I'll get those welded back in and then I'll bring you back when we're starting to assemble. So, this is the legs in, as you can tell now, it's a much wider stance, 
but it's still the way retain the original so if you want to go underneath the vehicles to haul an engine you can quick coat of paint now and reassemble it and this little project will be done this actually was a little bit bigger project than I anticipated but we got her done So guys, this is just a little project that I needed to do to put the roller back together. Uh, I think it's going to turn it all right. So nice wide stance and uh, the roller will be able to fit in between. This will also work better with some other stuff that I lift with this that's not real super heavy. So pretty minor stuff for uh, a half a day's worth of work, I suppose. And it'll help me out a lot. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, as always, 
God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one.